Hey there, everybody, and thanks so much for joining us here on KXAN Live. I am Will Dupree. We appreciate you watching today. A nonprofit here in Austin is doing some work to try to prevent young people from returning to prison, and it's called Jail to Jobs. And if you take a look here, this week we highlighted the work they are doing and the results they're having in a story that's available right now over on KXAN.com. The reporter for this story is Claire O'Connor. She is one of our news interns here at KXAN News, and she is joining me now live. Very good to have you, Claire. Thanks so much for joining us here on KXAN Live. Thanks for having me. Well, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, we're so excited to highlight some of your work that you're doing. Uh, but really, we're focusing on jail to jobs. Explain for anybody who may not know what it is, what the kind of work they do. Yeah, so Jail to Jobs is a reentry program for youth. So a lot of them are ages 12 to 24. Um, and some of them come from the streets, some of them are homeless. Um, and a lot of them come from inner city and they're coming from these violent communities that they don't really know how to get out of. And Jail to Jobs gives them a chance to learn job skills and life skills um, while they're also just building a better life for themselves. And a lot of these people do come from juvenile detention centers um, or they're sent by probation officers. Um, and so Jail to Jobs really does give them a second chance to rebuild their lives. Wow, okay. And they do all kinds of different programs. What are some of the things they offer to people? Yeah, so a lot of the programs that they offer are centered around um, getting jobs. So one of them, the main one, is the construction program. The kids are learning how to build houses from the ground up. Hmm. So being able to see that project and being able to see something that's, you know, pretty big like that really gives them a sense of pride. And another program they have is the culinary program. So this one, it's mostly women, but there are some men um, in the program as well. They learn, um, I mean, one of the quotes they said was knife to life skills. So mm -hmm. everything from learning how to cook a meal to learning how to be confident in yourself. Um, and it's actually run by an ex-convict, as are all the other supervisors in the program. Um, and he was in jail for 14 years, I believe. And um, he's teaching these young women how to grow after coming out of juvenile detention and how to um, cook meals and how to just really um, be in the workforce. Yeah, and it's having really big results as your video story kind of detailed. Mm -hmm. And we want to definitely play that and uh, bring some attention to it. So take a look at uh, Claire's story again about jail to jobs. These teens in Northeast Austin have seen a lot, falling asleep to the sound of gunshots and waking up to a community of violence. I was addicted to multiple drugs. I was still stuck in my ways, doing what I wanted to do. And then a lot of my other homeboys started dying and were going to jail for like aggravated burglary, murder. So then I was just like, man, I ain't trying to die. You know, I ain't trying to go to jail. Raised in the streets and ready for a different life, Antonio Martinez turned to jail the jobs. It was hard, but then it was easy, too, because I knew I, I didn't want to end up like that in the long run. That's all I've known growing up. Just do what I have to do to, you know what I'm saying, survive. Jail to Jobs is a nonprofit that takes homeless youth from the streets and juvenile detention and gives them a second chance. The organization teaches job skills in landscaping, cooking, and construction, while they also earn a paycheck. Nationally, 75% of offenders end up back in jail, but those that go through the job training program at Jail to Jobs, working at construction sites like this one, less than 15% will ever go behind bars again. And the people running the program can relate to the kids better than most. Every supervisor is an ex-felon. When I was 12 years old and I was in a jail cell, at that age, I remember thinking to myself, if I ever have the opportunity to help a youth not go through what I'm going through, of course, I'm going to do it. Harry S. Cooper grew up on the streets and in gangs. He ended up incarcerated for 14 years. I'm challenging the things I used to be and realizing that's not who I am today. And I love the person who I'm becoming because now I'm able to help in a, a different way. Starting as a janitor, he's now the director of the Travis County location and says he knows the struggle of getting hired after prison. You know, you hear a bunch of employers who say they'll hire people who've been incarcerated, but when it comes down to it, it's not happening. But there's one company that does hire ex-felons. In fact, the manager requests them. A lot of people write them off. You know, they look at their backgrounds and say that they can't perform, that they're not going to do it. And so we wanted to see if that was true. We wanted to give them a shot, uh, and we found out that that's not true. Chris Cordson is the COO of Cordson Construction. They're not the fastest, they're not the cheapest. 
but we believe that investing in them is important. Investing in their futures, that means something. Uh, life can't be only about money. Jail to Jobs has worked with private companies to employ over 620 young adults. And Chris says they work harder than most. See right there those... Uh, I've seen a bunch of young men who work and work and work, who have a desire to know. When we talk, they'll take notes. Uh, I've never had people take notes before. We can have you know, these youth out there who are literally transforming their workplace, then I know that we're doing a job well done here. This week, Jail to Jobs applied for Austin's reentry service grant. They find out at the end of September if they get the money. The youth are the people that we need to save because they're our next generations. Claire O'Connor, KXAN News. And joining me again is our KXAN News intern, Claire O'Connor, who turned that story there to highlight Jail to Jobs. Claire, uh, right before we started the video piece and showed that for what you had done, uh, we wanted to also ask you about uh, this reentry service grant that this group is applying for through the city of Austin, and you touched on that in your story as well. Yeah, so um, the main reason that I decided to do this story was because they're actually applying for um, one of the reentry grant services. So the city of Austin last month, at the end of June, announced a program that they would be giving out money to reentry services throughout the city. And so Jail to Jobs is one of the programs that applied for it. And this is a huge part of the program because if they don't have the money to fund this program, then the kids aren't going to be able to, you know, be housed, be fed, all these main crucial things that they need. Um, so Jail to Jobs right now is privately funded, mm -hmm. and I was talking to the director, and he said we can't go on like this forever. So getting that money from the city is going to be super crucial, and they find out at the end of September if they'll right. get the money. Yeah, we'll have to follow up and see if they are one of the recipients for that mm -hmm. grant money. Uh, your web story, so again, this story is all available over on KXAN.com, but your story highlighted that in addition to kind of the construction side of the program, they're also doing a culinary one, too, and they're going to be open opening something that a lot of people may be able to check out here relatively soon. Yeah, so around the fall time in October and November, the culinary program is going to be opening a restaurant mm -hmm. called Salt Kitchen Cafe, and all of the employees are going to be um, kids who are in the program. So they've been trained for months now, and now they're going to go out in the real world and get that experience and really learn what it's going to be like to be in that environment. Mm -hmm. And we don't know yet where the location of it will mm -hmm. be or when the exact opening will be either. No, we don't, but it's going to be a surprise, and I mean, I won't be here to cover it, but maybe, maybe you can take a look at it when they <laughs> open. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll definitely have to keep a note about that and track it for sure. Um, again, to highlight some of the numbers that you mentioned in your story, uh, it's really, we want to pinpoint that recidivism rate, the return of people going back to prison. Um, this organization really has an impact on keeping people in the community and out and working. Yeah, and I think this recidivism factor plays a huge part in the success of Jail to Jobs. Mm. Across the country, 75% of people that, go in, that are in jail end up going back into jail, like I mentioned in my story. But in this program, less than 15% Go, by, go behind bars again, which I think is an incredible number because it shows the strengths of this program. If these kids are able to go out in the workforce and learn, this is the life that I want to have. I don't want to go back to the streets. I don't want to go back to my violent community. You know, I want to become an adult and I want to um, make a better life for myself. They don't end up going back in jail. So it really does show the success that this program can have. And if cities like Austin and around the country are able to fund these programs and are able to show the success, then that recidivism rate across the country is going to be lower um, overall. Certainly making an impact, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, Claire, um, tell everybody where they can view your story right now and read a little bit more about it if they're, if they're interested. Yeah, so right now it's on the KXAN website. Um, if you just type in reentry services, it'll come up there. And I have some more elements um, into the program and things you can find out about the people behind it um, and the amazing work that they're doing. All right. Well, Claire O'Connor is again our KXAN News intern. We are very thankful to have her. And if you haven't ever seen it, she also is doing these really cool videos called Tokyo Takeaways. And um, it's highlighting some of the things that are happening in the Olympics. She is doing that all herself. So they're available as well to view. And they're really cool. I'm jealous of how awesome they're they look because I want to be a part of it too, but this is all her brainchild. So again, we want to highlight her reporting and all she's done for us here at KXAN. So Claire, thank you again. Thank you. I'm just following in your footsteps, Well, oh, after wow. your Tokyo <laughs> live streams. You've been all doing right. a great job as well. Thank you so much. Well, again, that is Claire O'Connor and we appreciate her reporting.
Thank you all again for watching. I'm Will Dupree in the KXAN live studio. More information is available on our website, kxan.com, also on the KXAN news app, so download it on your smartphone if you haven't done so already. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you back here another time. Everybody take care.